bar 9 of Moonlight Sonata, we finished off with a C major chord. And now we're going to switch into a C minor open chord. So for that, the index finger comes up to the first fret of the D string, middle goes to the first fret of the B string, and pinky goes to the third fret of the A string. It's a little bit awkward. And now we're going to pluck the A string and the D string together for the first time, followed by the G string and the B string. And we play this three times like this. And only the A string gets plucked on the first time. Next, we're going to go to the 4th fret of the B string here, and the 6th fret of the A string. I'm going to pluck these together. Then we play an open G string, and then the middle finger lands on the 5th fret of the G string. So it sounds like this. Next we're going to play the 4th fret of the B string real quick, and then the ring finger goes to the 6th fret of the E string here, and we pluck these together. So it's like this. And all together now, on this part we have... And starting with a C minor chord over here. thing we do after we play these together is put the middle finger down on the fifth fret of the D string and the pinky down on the sixth fret of G and now we have this using the index finger to pluck the fifth fret of D and the middle finger to pluck the sixth fret of G Now the ring finger comes down to the 6th fret of the A string here, and then the thumb's going to pluck that, and then index is going to pluck the uh, D string and middle finger on the G, and we do that three times. And on the third time here we're going to pluck that 4th fret of the B string again. So we have this now. So now we jump into a G sharp major chord. I use my thumb on the 4th fret of the E string here. Index finger stays on the 4th fret of the B string. Middle finger goes to the 5th fret of G. You could have your ring holding down the 6th fret of the D string, but that note's not played, so you don't need that. So we pluck the 4th frets at the same time here. And then the middle finger gets played at the 5th fret of G. And then the 4th fret of B again. So it sounds like this. And coming out of the last chord shape, we have this. Now the thumb moves to the third fret of the E string here, a G note. The index and middle stay where they are. And then we play the third fret of the low E string, followed by the fifth fret of G, fourth fret of B. So now that whole transition, starting from the last chord here, sounds like this. Now the middle finger goes to the second fret of the E string, F sharp note, and the index finger goes to the first fret of the D string there. These get played at the same time. 
Now the ring finger goes to the second fret of G. Index goes to the first fret of B. And now we go to the third fret of B and pluck an open D string with that. And then to the second fret of G and back to the first fret of B. So that little move sounds like this. Remember we pluck the fir first fret of D and second fret of E at the same time. Go to second fret of G, first fret of B, third fret of B with an open D string, second fret of G, first fret of B. And that's the end of the 12th bar. And now we're going to jump into a G minor chord. I use a full bar chord for this now, which would be index flat across a third fret here, across all the strings, and pinky on the fifth fret of D and ring on the fifth fret of A. And we're going to play the low E string with the third fret of the B string at the same time. Followed by fifth fret of D and then the G string. So it's like. Then we play the A string, the D string, and the G. So that whole thing is. Now we're going to switch into a C minor chord shape. I use the middle finger on the third fret of the A string, that's their C note, and I use my pinky on the fourth fret of the B string here. We pluck these at the same time, that's our C minor shape. This is our minor third, um, a D sharp note, relative to C. So we pluck these at the same time, then uh, we play an open G, and then the second fret of the G with the index finger. So it's like this. Next, I switch fingers here. The ring finger goes to the third fret of the A string again, still that C note. Index finger goes to the first fret of the B string, another C note. We hit these at the same time. That's two C notes. And then we play another 0, 2 on G. This time the middle finger gets that second fret. So it's like this. Out of that G minor chord. And now we're into bar 14 where we're going to play a D shape. So we'll go to the third fret of the B string here that's a D note and we play this with an open D string then we play an open G string then the third fret of the G and then we play a, uh, another open D string open G third fret so it's like this and now I use my index finger to go to the second fret of the G. We hold these two together now, 2nd fret of G, 3rd fret of B. We pluck the B and D strings again. And now I use my pinky to hit the 4th fret of D. And then play the 2nd fret of G. So it's like this. Then another 0, 4 on D. And 2nd fret of G again. So that whole thing there now is... Now for bar 15 we jump into a G minor chord again, which is index finger barred across the third frets here and a pinky on the 5th fret of D, ring on the 5th fret of A. And we pluck the E string and the D string at the same time, followed by the G and the B strings. And after that we just play 
D, G, B. So it sounds like this. And then the middle finger goes down on the fourth fret of the G string here, switching our G minor chord into a G major chord, and we just play the D, G, and B strings again like that. So now it's like this. And now what we do is we pluck the high E string and the D string at the same time followed by the G and the B strings by themselves. So it's like this. And now the whole thing is uh, goes like this. And that's the end of bar 15.